glad to help you with that. Oh, no, thank you. I can manage. Oh, how to do, ma'am? Hello. I'm Linda Roberts. Oh, yes, Miss Roberts. I got your telegram. I have a nice room for you, second floor front. Well, that'll be just fine. Would you register, please? Yes. I don't have time to take my bag upstairs. Would you watch it for me? Well, surely. And where's the courthouse? One block down the street. That's where they're holding the inquest? Yes, ma'am. That's they good. Inquest. Thank you. Sure glad that's over with. Yes, am I. It's all been said, Ben. In there. Legal things have been said, but they're... I'm not interested. You killed my boy. No matter what a coroner's jury said, it was murder, not self-defense. You should have been held for trial and convicted. If your name weren't Cartwright, you would have been. Hey, Miss I wanted to see you dead, Joe. <laughs> Time to turn in, isn't it? It's getting kind of late. I don't feel much like sleeping yet, Pa. Can't keep from thinking about Mr. Crenshaw. The way he looked at me today, things he said. You must know I didn't want to shoot Zach. I did everything I could to stop it if he just hadn't drawn the gun on me. Everybody knows that, Joe. All the witnesses testified to it. Everybody knows it. Everybody except Zach's father. it too. Deep down inside he knows it. He just can't get himself to believe it. Awful hard for a father to admit to himself that his his son tried to kill a man. Maybe if I if I went over and I talk and I talked to him and tried to explain 
Explain it, Joe, Joe, Joe. Listen, there's, there's nothing you can explain. You've said everything there is to say. What Amos needs now is time. Time to think, time to let the wound heal, time to face the truth, to be honest with himself. Yeah, I, I guess I guess you're right. And what you need, young man, is some sleep. And I want you and us to go into town real early tomorrow and get some new men for that ditch digging, so off to bed. Right. And Joe, you did everything you could. There was nothing else you could do. Absolutely nothing. Hi, fellas. Hey, Bruno. Hello, Joe. Hey, boss. Hi, Bruno. Couple of beers, huh? Right. We need some men for a ditching job. Joe Cartwright. Real live celebrity, right here in Virginia City. All right, what's the joke? Little Joe, we're gonna have to start looking at you in a new light. Had no idea you were such a valuable critter. What's it all about? Well, according to this, you're worth as much dead as Jesse James. Lady wants you dead. You must have done something awful bad. Promised to marry her, maybe. And then backed out. Well, I hate to disappoint you, boys, but I'm as much in the dark about this as you are. You mind if I keep this? Go right ahead. There's plenty more of them. The little lady has them tacked up all over town. We'll be back for those beers later. Anybody do a thing like that? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Not without me, you ain't. Room 26, Joe. Miss Roberts is expecting you. She told me to send you right up. Brothers, come in. You, uh, you Miss Linda Roberts? I am, Mr. Cartwright. As far as I know, we've never met before. I saw her yesterday out in front of the courthouse. And I saw both of you there for the first time. So you've seen me just once. This isn't a very funny joke. I can assure you that poster is no joke. Let me get this straight. You don't even know my little brother, and yet you'll pay just any you who with a gun a thousand dollars to kill him? That's exactly right. Now you've learned what you came to learn. Now you can both leave. Not just yet, Miss Roberts. I want to know why you want me killed. You should know, and if you don't, you can wonder about that. For as long as you live. You put a thousand dollars on my head, and you won't even tell me why. You must be out of your mind. Not at all. I'm sure you know why. I give you my word, I haven't the slightest idea. Doesn't the name Roberts mean anything to you? Billy Roberts? He was my brother and you killed him. In Carson City, June 16th, 11 o'clock at night, in an alley behind the Nevada house. He didn't have a chance. His gun was still in his holster when the sheriff found him. And don't tell me you weren't there, because I know differently. I'm not denying I was there. I was staying at the Nevada house was questioned along with 15 or 20 other men. But you were the only one who fit the description the eyewitness gave. The witness saw me at the investigation and said I wasn't the man. He said he didn't think you were. It was dark in the alley and you could hardly see. 
What a coincidence. You were questioned about the death of my brother and released. A month later, you were questioned and released about the killing of Zach Crenshaw. It's quite a habit with you, isn't it, Mr. Cartwright? Killing people and getting away with it. Zach Crenshaw pulled a gun on me. I had no choice. There were a dozen witnesses. A dozen witnesses bought and paid for with Cartwright money. Now get out of here. Both of you, get out. Come on, Joe. She sure has her mind made up, don't she? Yeah, she sure does. Well, don't worry about it. Nobody's gonna take that poster seriously anyhow. You sure of that, huh? No, oh, yeah, the whole thing's silly, Joe. A thousand dollar reward on that poster. People are pretty silly for a thousand dollars. See if we can hire the men for that ditching job. Coming down the street, if you hear any minute. Bartender, put this on the back bar. Look, I don't want any trouble in her, mister. Then do as I say. Take those two beers now, Brown. Made me put it up, Hoss. They went tearing out of here to see the lady. They came back meaner than a pair of rattlesnakes. Yeah, it begins to look like the lady's got a case. That poster must mean what it says. Well, if she's willing to pay a thousand dollars, he must have hurt her bad enough to deserve killing. How about that, Joe? What did you do to the little lady? He ain't talking, Jim. He's too ashamed to tell us. I figure that's proof enough. It's time somebody did something about you, Cartwright. And I'm just a man for the job. Doing this for Miss Roberts or for the money? Both. Not often a man can get a chance to do a lady a good turn and get paid besides. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but it takes two to make a gunfight. I'm not interested. Only when you can draw on a boy who hasn't got a chance. Come on, Joe, let's go. On. You draw or crawl, or every time you leave the Ponderosa, I'm going to give you a beating until you're mad enough to face me. Shot in rock salt. The first man who makes a fight move, he'd stand up for a month now. What's going on here? Philly was trying to collect a thousand dollar reward. Are you serious? That's what the man said. I was just on my way to see you about that woman putting them posters up all over town. I didn't figure she'd get any takers so soon. Get his gun. His too. All right, let's go. to 24 hours in the cell and 20 minutes to leave town. Shouldn't have any more trouble with them. And I'll go over to the hotel and have a talk with Miss Roberts. I'll go with you. Joe. Look, 
Maybe we ought to get on back to Ponderosa. Paul's going to be worried about us anyhow. We haven't hired the men for the ditching crew yet. I'll take care of that, Joe. You going home. Hey, what do you want me to do then? Hide under the bed? Ah, oh, Joe, just hold on. Hoss is right. There might be a couple other drifters around town, like those two I just locked up. No use looking for trouble. Give me a little time. I'll get this thing straightened out. Look, Joe, you do what Clem says. I'll hire the men. I'll take care of everything here. You go. Hoss, make sure he stays out of town till this thing simmers down. I'll let your pa know when. Thank you, Clem. I'd like to put some money in the safe, please. Certainly, Miss Rivers. It's Linda Roberts. Yes. What can I do for you, Sheriff? Well, I, uh, been finding these all over town. Did you tack them up? Yes, I did. Why? I don't think that concerns you, Sheriff. Well, I do. These posters incite to murder, ma'am. That's uh, against the law. Incite to murder? You're quite wrong. That poster specifies a fair fight. A fair fight in self-defense. That's what a coroner's jury said yesterday. Now, wait a minute. Self-defense is no crime. And the only thing you can charge me with is inciting someone to protect his own life. I'm afraid it goes a lot deeper than that, but I'm not going to stand here and argue the law with you, ma'am. We got us a prosecutor in town's paid it to that. It's been nice, Sheriff. My key, please. Well, you won't be needing your key. You're going with me. I'll lock you up. On what charge? Suspicion of inciting to murder. And just how long do you think you can hold me? Long enough to make you see a few facts and realize you're making a big mistake. After you. Hoss and I have been talking. We agree with Clem. You better stay away from Virginia City for the next few days. Oh, but Pa, No buts. No buts. There's plenty for you to do here. You can take charge of the ditching job. And that'll keep you busy enough so you won't have time to think about other things. Well, he hired the new men. Why can't he handle because it? Because I want you to do it. All right. Listen, Hop Zane's been clinging those pots and pans around them back there for an hour. We better get back and eat or we're going to lose a good cook. What'd you say, Hoss? I said... Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Hop Zane. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Glenn, come on in. Hello, Joe. Ben. Hoss. Hop Singh. How'd you make out with the girl? Well, I put her in a cell, made her read a complete report of the inquest. What'd she say after she read that? She said it didn't change a thing. As far as she's concerned, all the witnesses were bought off. Only thing it does is reconfirm that you're fast with a gun. She gets an idea in her head, she sticks with it, doesn't she? Mm hmm a Woman's as stubborn as a mule and twice as dangerous. Clem, is she still in jail? Yep. She, they can't post bail until the court and the prosecutor fix the amount. Now, if, uh, if we drop the charges, you have to let her out, right? Oh, well, that's right, but I... Joseph, what do you think we ought to drop charges? Well, might as well. Doesn't do any good keeping her in a cell. What about the posters? Well, I took them all down, but the harm's already been done, Ben. I can't figure it out. She wants me dead. Why doesn't she do it herself? Yeah, she thinks this fair play business will get the job done, keep her out of trouble to boot. Besides, I don't believe she could even fire a gun. Till a month ago, she was teaching English, deportment, and manners in a finishing school for young ladies back east. Manners. Remind me never to go back east. Supper ready, long time. Either Mr. Clem join for supper or leave house so family can eat. Clem, how about? Well, I'd like to, Ben. Thanks him. I'd sure like to, Hop Singh, but uh, I better be getting on my way. Oh, I sent a wire to the sheriff of Carson City explaining the problem here. He promised to wire back if anything new turns up concerning the death of Miss Roberts' brother. Thank you, Clem. Well, good night, boys. Good night, Clem. Thanks again. Joseph, let's eat. Yeah. It's about time. Really, don't sing it, don't it.
You can thank Joe Cartwright for your release. He wanted the charges dropped. I wouldn't have been so generous. I'm sure Mr. Cartwright's a very generous man. He can afford it. But you can tell him for me he isn't fooling anyone. He can't hide his guilt behind a display of generosity. Good night, Sheriff. Check the mat up on the east section. I'll take care of the west. Supposed to be working on the ditch up on the west section? Yeah, we was just taking a little rest, that's all. When my brother hired you, didn't he tell you there was no drinking on the job? Yeah, that's right. That's what he told us. Good, I just want to make sure. I hate to fire anybody by mistake. You got a day's pay coming. Pick it up at the house. You gotta have more respect for your elders, boy. I don't see any difference between a lazy old man and a lazy young one. Don't move, boy. You know, you cut me to the quick, call me and my friend here lazy. Of course, the truth of the matter is, we are. That's why we took the job. Seemed like an easy way to make a fast thousand dollars. Since we heard you weren't coming to the town, we figured the least we could do was come to see you. A lot of people know I'm out here. They know you're working here, too. You're not gonna get away with it. Well, we ain't gonna hide it, boy. You're gonna die in a fair fight. Luke's gonna shoot you, and they're gonna find you with your gun in your hand right where I put it. <laughs> then I'll tell the law how you started the fight, and Luke just had to shoot. And you know, I'm a good witness. All right, throw it over here, nice and easy. You two had better ride out. Don't stop for a long time. Won't be very healthy for you around Virginia City. Come on, move. Lucky thing I came along. If you hadn't, I'd have been dead now. I was on my way over to the Ponderosa. I just wanted to tell you that I know you didn't want to kill my Zack. I guess I knew it all along. I just couldn't bring myself to admit it. Well, I said it. I better get back to my place. Hey, Mr. Crenshaw. I... Look, why don't you come on over to our place? Maybe have supper right now. I know Pa would like to see you. No thanks, so I, I don't think so today. 
Started digging a new well on my place. Just to keep busy. Besides, a man has to get used to being alone. You say hello to your father for me. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye, sir. Quite serious, Joe. I don't want you near any of the new men until Clem has things settled down in town. I'll take care of things around here for a few days, Joe. Thanks. You know, I think you started this whole thing just so I'd have to do your work for you. Pa, if you don't need me for the next few days, I'd, uh, I'd like to go to Mr. Crenshaw's place and give him a hand digging that well. Well, that's fine with me. If you don't think Amos wouldn't rather be alone. No. Now, if you'd have seen him today and talked to him the way I did, I think you'd agree with me. I think that's the last thing he wants, is to be left alone. Well, fine. Tell Amos that if he needs anything, if we can help him in any way... We... He knows that already. Good enough. I think I'm gonna turn in. I'm gonna get an early start. Good night. Good night, Joe. Good night, Joe. You know, Paul, things have been kind of rough for Mr. Crenshaw. I have an idea that Joe's being over there might make him feel a little better. Yes, I, I hope so. I know that being there will make Joe feel better. I'm going to start work on the new well tomorrow, Zach. I saw Joe Cartwright today. I told him I was sorry about the way I've been acting. <laughs> I told him I was trying to get used to being alone. See, he looked bad. He'll be coming around for a visit soon. Real soon. Hello, Joe. What are you doing out this way? Well, I uh, got pretty well caught up in my chores at home. I thought I might come out and give you a hand digging that well. Oh, that's mighty kind of you to take pity on an old man. I can make out all right. Yeah, well, look, it's, it's got nothing to do with pity. It's really kind of selfish on my part. You know, that trouble we had out at the ranch the other day, I thought it'd be best if I didn't go near strangers for a while. You sure that's the reason? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, grab a shovel. It's no fun working alone. You take a little rest. Let me get in there. I'd be glad to. I heard there was a little trouble in town. What's it all about? A girl named Linda Roberts. I got an idea I killed her brother because of... Because of what happened to Zach? You can say it, Joe. I learned to say it, to accept it. It doesn't do any good to pretend it didn't happen. It's no good for either one of us. I, uh, I guess you're right. I know I'm right. Now let's get in here and work together. I have a feeling we've got to go a long way down before we get what we're after. A long way. How did it go with Amos? 
It went fine with Amos. Good. Yeah, a lot better than I expected. Good. You know, what you were telling me the other night was right. You give man a little time to think. It made me feel better, too. I, I knew it wasn't my fault about that. No, 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 but still don't have to explain to me. I know how you feel. Yeah. You feeling hungry? You bet I am. Supper's ready. Get one step. Okay. Good today, Zach. It won't be long. It won't be long, I promise you. Well, ain't deep enough yet. But it will be. It will be. Here she comes. This came from the sheriff, Albert Carson. Figure you'd want it right away. Thanks, Pat. Kind of a surprise, ain't it? Yeah, it sure is. Sheriff. I think we've said all there is to say, Sheriff. Oh, I don't believe we have said it all. I just got word from Carson City concerning the man who murdered your brother. Your brother's killer has been positively identified by the eyewitness from a sketch on the front page of the Virginia City Enterprise. They get our paper a few days late in Carson. Zach Crenshaw. That's right. The man Joe Cartwright shot in self-defense, the man who killed your brother. I don't believe it. No. Here's a telegram. You read it. I don't know what to say. Well, I'll tell you what to say. You make sure the word spread as fast as possible that you've canceled your offer, just in case somebody's thinking of trying for that thousand dollars. Then get over to the newspaper office and have some new posters printed up, admitting your mistake. Do you realize you came close to hiring somebody to kill an innocent man? Sheriff, I've already hired a man to kill Joe Cartwright. What? I already paid a man to kill Joe Cartwright. Who is he? What's his name? I don't know. I don't even know what he looks like. Now you listen to me, young lady. You get to making sense and quick. I, I came in my room. It was dark, and he wouldn't let me see his face. He wanted half the money in, in advance, and I was so sure that Joe killed Billy that I gave it you to him. You are so sure. I better get out to the Ponderosa and warn the Cartwrights what's happening. I'm going to go with you. No, you're not going to go with me. I believe Joe Cartwright's had enough of you to last a lifetime. Well, you can't deny me the chance to prove that I was wrong to say that I'm sorry. All right, you can go, but we stop at the newspaper first. <laughs> I have no idea who it was that you hired. I've told you everything I know, Mr. Cartwright. I'd give anything if it hadn't happened if I... Was there anything distinctive about, uh, about the man's voice, the way he talked, the way he walked, anything at all? His voice was muffled. Other than that, nothing. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm grateful for trying to help us. I was so sure. I've been so foolish. Well, Clement, sure doesn't give us very much to go on, does it? No. Nope. Could be almost anyone. It could be one of those two men Mr. Crenshaw and I booted off the ranch the other day. 
Yes, could be. What's this you're talking about? Oh, two of the fellas like the one in the saloon looking for easy money. I'm inclined to think that when the news gets around that the offer has been canceled, whoever it was took the $500 is just going to get out of town and forget it. Oh, I think so, too. The Enterprise is printing up those special posters right now. They'll put the story on page one. Two or three days should be all over. But that's two or three days. Joe, I wouldn't go near any strangers or any of the new hands until then. Don't worry, I don't intend to. Well, I better take Miss Roberts back to town and get to putting up those posters. I should stop at Crenshaw's on the way back. He'll have to know about his boy sooner or later. Clint, why don't you let me take this wire over to Mr. Crenshaw, huh? Joe, I... I think you better stay close to the Ponderosa. Well, I'm not going to run into any strangers on the way out to Mr. Crenshaw's. I've been working with him the last few days. It's going to hit him pretty hard. I think he might take a little better coming from me. How about it? Well, just as far as the Crenshaw Ranch and back, no more. Understood? Understood, don't worry. And you stop worrying. Everything's going to be all right. If anything happens to you because of what I've done, I'll never forgive myself. Hey. Come on now. I just told you everything's going to be all right. Go back to town, get some sleep. You feel better tomorrow. Put in enough hours here today? Yeah. Just want to come over and talk to you for a little while. Talk to me? Sure. Come on in. You want to talk to me, huh? Sure. Did you suffer? No, sir, I, uh, I haven't, but I, I'm not hungry, thank you. Oh, nonsense. Grown boys are always hungry. Come on, sit down. Good beef stew, hot and ready. Oh, really, it's, ver it's very kind of you, but I'm not hungry. Oh, come on, now, I mean it. We don't want that stew to get cold. There's plenty of time to talk uh, after you eat. I ain't the best cook in the world. Zack always liked my stool. Mr. Crenshaw, I... I came over here to talk to you about Zack. He was a handsome boy. Wild and free. Spirited like a fine horse. He, he was a good boy, wasn't he, Joe? Now, you uh, eat your stew while it's hot. Zack didn't like to let his stew get cold. Mr. Crenshaw, I have a, a wire from Carson City I think you should read. For me? 
Sheriff and Carson sent it to Clem and I asked him if I could bring it to you. Where'd you get this way? Told you the sheriff and Carson sent it to Clem. I knew what you said. It isn't enough that you murdered my son. Now you're making up stories to make him look like he was a killer like you. You don't fool me. Not for one minute. Mr. Crenshaw, I know this is hard for you, but I... I'm not the only one you don't fool. Linda Roberts, she knows what you are. She knows you murdered her brother just like you murdered my Zack. She gave me $500 to kill you. Ain't that I wanted the money, just that I didn't want no one else doing it. All the time we've been digging that well, I've been planning on how to kill you. Mr. Crenshaw, you have to listen to me. Linda Roberts knows I did not kill her brother. She came to the ranch today and said she was sorry that she was wrong. She came out to the Ponderosa? I swear it. She's even printing a poster saying she knows she was wrong. Why would she give me $500 if she knew she was wrong? Because she didn't know the truth when she gave you the money. Please believe me. You ain't eating your stew, Joe. It's getting cold. Why don't... Why don't you put down the gun and... and I'll eat. Sure. You, uh... You were uh, telling me about Miss Roberts. She knows she was wrong. That... That's what I was telling you. Wrong. Oh. Yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, your stew's cold. I'll get you some more. Zach always liked my stew. Roberts, but you can't fool me. That well we've been digging is going to be your grave. My father and the sheriff know I came out here to see you. That don't matter. They think I'm your friend. I saved your life. I was going to kill you that day. That's why I was following you. But I, I had to talk to Zach first. Then I got a better idea. I got $500 from Miss Roberts. And I let you help me so those folks would think we were friends. That wire is a lie! Tell me it's a lie! I wish I could, Amos. I wish I could. Why, Zach? Why? You, you were such a good boy. Such a good little boy.
time to go. I know I said I'm sorry so many times, but... But it's silly to say it again. You have a good trip and take care of yourself. I will. Mr. Cartwright. Bye. Boss. Bye, ma'am. I think that little lady's gonna be all right. Yes, I think so, too. Just hope Amos will be all right. Well, a man learns to face the truth. He, he learns to live with himself. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> 